Hi, I'm Jennifer Marr, Chairwoman of the Putnam County Chamber of Commerce and broker owner of J. Phillip Commercial Group. I'm here today with two of my favorite business owners, Rick Cipriani and Wendy Wilkin of Bull and Barrow Group Hub. Hi guys. Hi Jen. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So Wendy, a little over two years ago, we came to this very same spot that looked very different and you shared your vision with me. Yeah, I can't even believe it's been two years to be quite honest. So do you want to tell us what's happened between now and then and now? Oh, so much, so much great things. Um, with that vision was something that I couldn't find the perfect location for and you brought me here and it just was a perfect setting for everything I wanted to do, including a brewery. The only thing I didn't know anything about was brewing my own beer. Um, Rick being longtime family friend of mine and my husband's. Um, my husband reminded me that Rick was a master brewer, so I called him up one night and said, hey, what are you doing for the next 20 years? <laughs> Here we are two years later. Um, and it's gone over famously. We've been really nicely welcomed by the community, um, as well as I think we've established a reputation of being a destination location for this area and providing Putnam with a, a bigger picture of business to come to. So just a question then, so we know the most popular areas are these areas. Mm -hmm. uh, having a little deeper knowledge of the process, what's your favorite that, That's so hard to answer. It's like, you know, what's your favorite child? I love them all because there's different times and seasons. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so go with now. Right, I mean, right. well, right now, okay, perfect example. We just brewed a Borden's milk stout. Oh, so we literally, I mean, a, a, a pitching wedge from our location where, where we brew is the Borden's Bridge, where the condensed milk was brought so much prosperity to this area back in the early 1900s. Um, and we brew here with that condensed milk. So it's our milk stout, and um, hopefully the, the locals love it. Well, I have to tell you, we've seen a lot of businesses come, not that we've seen a lot go, but a lot come with that mindset of they're going to shop as local as possible, and they get burnt out pretty quickly. This can be challenging, and it, 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 it adds a little extra, and probably takes a little profit away from you. So we commend you on keeping to that commitment, and if there's anything we can ever do to help you, to make sure that that commitment stays. Um, we appreciate it, but... I I really think that it's, it's something that is going to start to really take more effect in more businesses. You know, it's just like being involved with United for the Troops. It's something we take a lot of pride in because that's an organization that's home grown from a local family within this area. They did it for all the right reasons, knowing that all everything that gets donated to that organization is straight to the organization. And obviously, honoring military past and present is, is tremendous. And I think you know, people out there need to know more about that. And I'll tell you one of the things that Rick and I are really more so proud of being able to say and do is that not only do we support American-made brands by only carrying American-made vodka, gins, and bourbons, we also try to support the local community as much as possible. From when we started to build out, we only use local vendors in the Putnam County, Westchester area, as well as purchasing iconic items such as the barn from 1855 that was built and born in America, in you know this region. So we, we want to hopefully be in the new movement that businesses come here to appreciate the local economics and the local community. And that you have to start in your backyard. And then it's a ripple effect that works its way out. So we're a big advocate for that. All right, so well, congratulations on one year. Um, so just a parting thought, if there's one thing that stands out between the day when you walked in here and made a phone call to you, Signing the lease. What is it? High, high note or a low I think we're still riding that rush of, you know, everything, every day is an exciting day. You know, it's, it's year one, almost year one, and I'm no kidding. 90% of the people that come in here is still for their first time. And when they walk in, and this is, this is how you know, because their head goes like this. It's like, oh my God, so that you know that, that all our hard work and long hours, you know, are our family. Awesome. Um, you know, for something that was living in my head for so long, to finally see it in 3D fashion and have a partner that gets it with me and that we're on the same page, I really has an enjoyment for this industry because if you don't enjoy your business, you're not really ever going to be successful at it. So to have that whole combination and then like Rick says, 
when people walk through the door and it's their first time and you see them with that almost Times Square, like, oh my gosh. And then the next best thing is when someone says to me, I gotta walk outside and remind myself that I'm in Brewster. I feel like I'm in Texas. It's an amazing feeling. It means that we accomplish exactly what we are trying. Well, that's great. Well, for everyone, you just know you have the whole community behind you. And uh, we appreciate all your efforts. Thank you. So that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us.